Hey dads, lads, and lasses, it's Rokebeer here today, and we're just doing a real quick uh, short tutorial for you guys. I hope it's only around like two minutes, I don't want to waste your time on this, because it's a really simple thing to solve. But a lot of people ask me, like, oh, how do I get my Roblox character into my Roblox studio, or how do I get my friend's Roblox character into my Roblox studio? And there's very, like, two easy ways to do this. One is there's a plugin, which I'll show you, which I gotta love plugins. But two, if it's just you, I'll show you this real quick. You go into test in the very top, and then you can just hit play. I'm going to do play here, so we're sitting here. Now, ignore the mess. This is just a test world that I had. I was just screwing around building stuff. But you'll see you're in the game now. You'll see your character. You literally just go into the workspace at the top right here, and you'll find your character. I'm Rogue Bear, obviously. So I hit control C, or you can right click on here and hit, where's copy? Copy at the very top. Click that. You can stop your play test there. And you want to go back into your workspace and then right click, hit paste into, or control shift V. And that will bring your character to the exact position they were at, actually. But all you got to do is, well, actually, that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> and you can take whatever you want out of it. You have all the hats here. If you see my previous tutorial about um, hats and different things, you can take all the hats here and they snap on immediately like this. Like, you can take the hats off these, off these people. That'll work just fine. And, uh, there, that's the easy way if you want to do yourself. Now, if it's somebody else, you're going to need this plugin, or there's probably another way to do it, but this is the easiest way. And we're here to do it quick and easy for you guys. So, it's a plugin called Load Character by Already Pro. And if you don't have this plugin already, which you definitely should, because it's very helpful, go into your toolbox and go to your plugins tab, which is at the bottom here. It's literally the first plugin that has almost 40,000 upvotes. So just click that and then get it, install it, and then you'll be like, heck yeah, let's do this. <laughs> let's do this. No, but then once you'll do it, you'll load it in your plugins tab here, and it's this one right here, load character. And you'll see already pro him and all his glory is right here already. Type in literally any Roblox name you want. So let's just do Rogue Bear for the fun for the funny meme. If I could type my own name. There's Rogue Bear. You could do uh, R15 or R16 or R16. R6. R15 has all the extra joints. Like, you'll see there's elbow, like, upper leg and arm and stuff. And then R6 should just be, like, the traditional block parts. It's, like, left arm, right arm. So, depending on your project, you might need R6, you might need R15. This plugin, guys, you covered on both. It can get literally any single character in the game. Let me just test, let me just prove it to you guys. Not that I have to, but let's get, type in someone random person's name. Let's do Shedletsky. If I could spell, oh my goodness, guys. So, Shedletsky, let's spawn R15. Managing scripts. All right, looks that's a bad example. Let's do like, I don't know, like my friend Purple Ten Thirty One, a good old friend Purple Ten Thirty One. Right here, here he is in all his glory. Right here, Purple Ten Thirty One. You could take his hair off, you know, take off his hat, and there, <laughs> and there he is. And you could also do R Fifteen, right here, just like that. And there it is, like very small. It also does body changes, like this the body scale. Like if I spawn in both, you'll see that one is smaller than the other. And you can see the different joints here. That's the difference between R15 and R6. But anyways, that's the real quick tutorial for you guys. I don't want to waste your time, but there it is. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you need any more Roblox help, I'm not an expert, but I have plenty of tutorials on my YouTube channel if you'd like to watch and you know, go back and see if any of those uh, problems you have are solved in my videos. But, uh, but yeah, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. And, and uh, I'll see you.